Hello YouTube, and today we're doing another group review. Yesterday the Germanican Realm one, and it got a lot of views, got a lot of um, people on it. Luckily the Germanican Realm did not mass counter or mass dislike. That is actually the reason why I said, let's hope they don't come mass dislike, because hadn't I said that, they probably would have actually did it. That being said, I did another one of these, and this is a much bigger group. I looked up some reviews, there's only like one on it, it's kind of small. So I personally took the time to do one. Before I get into this, I just want to say that I have known Brazalia in the past before. He led the, the Austro-Hungarian Empire, and we had to, um, we got into a small little war between our two groups, but it didn't last very long. He was trying to get more of a communist Austro-Hungarian Empire, and I was trying to victorize it, and it was this big battle, I guess, it happened, but, um, I checked our DM history, and not much really happened, so then eventually we allied, yep, we allied, and he allied to our group, and so, he eventually declared one of them again, and then, and it was like an off and on relationship with uh, Repazalia, as you can see through these DMs. But back in the day, I also tried to advise Repazalia, because Repazalia said he was going to make a whole new um, Soviet Union, and he didn't get big yet. And I'm like, I can promise everyone this, that the moment he gets really big, he's not going to talk to me ever again. And I was actually kind of right, I DM'd him, I'll show you guys that in a second, but I talked to him and I said, okay. So the first thing he did, the flaw he made was he didn't have a following. He kind of did, but it was like a good 50 people. And his first Soviet Union that he made had like hundreds of people on his game, thousands of members in the groups. And I said, well, why don't I just tell the guy, you know, just to secure his following. So I did, DM'd him before he launched his TSU and said, hey, remember, gather your followers, get some loyalty going. And then once you get a following core base uh, and your group gets removed or whatever happened from the last time then you know and so i reminded him and he said well i don't need followers i just need revenue and activity and that's all he needs people for otherwise he doesn't want loyalists he doesn't want power he just wants the money and the activity and so his argument was basically the loyalty thing was just a bonus and was kind of irrelevant to him he also made the argument that loyalty doesn't matter on roblox but yet you have to imagine that when i we say Loyalty, we mean it on a Roblox stance, so... Hold on, let me, let me meet the in-game volume. Um, it, it's more or less an immersive thing. It's something you do immersively, it's not something you do IRL. And so he kind of mistaken it for something IRL. But when you have a following in-game, you tend to do quite well when you make more groups, and you make new groups. It's just how Roblox works. He disagreed, so... So I did DM him a month later, and, um... I was informed that they were having a government, and they said they were going to allow political parties. So I immediately contacted him at the time, I led the Richterists and whatnot, and I said, you know, we can do whatever we can to make ourselves relevant to your ideology. And so he said, no, you can't be an official political party. But after that, um, I don't think he contacted me again, or at least I didn't, he didn't reply to me after that. So I had a Korea, I asked him for any help, if he could help me, and he said, nothing back to me. I then, you know, I think I commended him at one point about how he has done really well with his uh, Russian Soviet Union. And then I saw, or said one more thing about a few months later saying that I made a DDR and I'd like financial aid. And this was the day before Lyons would actually DM me and I would have gotten scammed. Lyons said he would pay me 200000 to buy the group. And I would have used this as an opportunity to make a whole new group, but I was scammed from Lions. As you've all seen the video already, if you haven't, go take a look at it. But had it been funded me, that would have never happened. I think DDR would have still been up today if I had received the proper funding for DDR. Now that's just Repazalio himself. I've been to um, the Border Simulator quite a few times. I'm in the game right now, obviously. But the thing is about his game is um, it's it's a center border game. You join the game, you get into the city, and then in the city you just you make money. But except their only way to make money in the game is by robbing a bank. So they have to buy game passes like gun, and there's more stuff. Except there is no furry army, thank God. But there is an Easter bunny, and there's Easter gifts, and there's all these other things. And I think there is an Area 51 game pass back during the meme for Area 51. It's a mainstream game. What the hell do you expect? Right, so anyway, I took a look today, and I said, you know what? 
I see this because I see AJC's Marines, which I also might do a review on later today. But I went to um, Pazalian's border game, and I said, you know what? What if I joined this group, joined the Communist Party, and tried to get somewhere? And that's what I tried to do. I first tried to build an influence by asking the Marshal what it's like being the Marshal TSU. And also, one more. Before I continue, I don't know what's going to happen after this video is made, because I will be criticizing things, I will be giving my opinion. So I don't know if I'm going to get exiled or not, but I will be admitting a lot of things that I tried to do via communications. So I will admit things like, I tried to play this guy and this guy for this or that. That's just an FYI, so that when I go over this, no one just comments and says, you're a really bad guy for doing this. It was all part of an experiment, so just bear with me throughout this video. So the whole point of this conversation I tried to initiate was the fact that um, I tried to know what it was like, because I wasn't really sure. I've actually never seen the TSU rally. I've never seen them with their trainings. I've never seen them do anything productive whatsoever. This guy has an army of 442,000 people. That's almost more people than USM. Actually, before USM was deleted, that's more people than IRF. You see, it's just a large army of people. And if this group continues to grow and continues to thrive, it will be the most biggest army and the entire Roblox platform in itself. So my question for this guy is, what does he do with his army? I check the announcements. I don't see any rallies going on. I check the information. I don't see any raids. I don't see any declarations of war. I don't see any immersive events. All I've seen is development updates, and all I've seen is there's a new skin, there's a new, there's a new gun skin, there's a new um, you know, addition, more skins, more guns, more futuristic sci-fi looking shit that no one cares about. And I mean, and again, it's just, it's not the fact that, you know, I'm trying to be rude here and say, oh, this is just another cash grab. It's the fact that I joined this group, wait, hold on a second. Okay, sorry, I'm an idiot. I thought I got, I got, I thought I got exhaled for a minute because it says join group. Look at the wrong page. You see, I thought um that there'd be more production with this kind of group. You know, it's just the fact that, you know, I join the group, I go in game. Is there a training I can attend? Is there propaganda I can spew? Is there any way for an immersive interaction with these other people? You see, if I join something like, well, I don't know, Cronlin. Take a look at Cronlin, for instance. And I'm not saying this is an excellent group, a pure specimen of what I want. But I could easily join this main group. And I believe they might have a government. Yeah, they have the Crown Administration. They have all this other shit, right? And let's say I join a Land Guard. And the Land Guard, I could speak to a high rank and say, hey, I had some experience. I'm a proud member of Cronlin. I want to do this and that. I do some things. I become a sergeant, right? And then I say, you know what, I want to I want to join the government, right? So I join the government, and I'm a good politician, I make a political party, and I rise up, and I become this great administrator. You can do that in Cronland. You can do that in a Lewis group, ran by Lewis Otto. Hell, even back in the day with USMA forms, you could do that in USM. You could, you know, if you had the influence, you had the experience, you could easily gain authority, and there is immersion in this group, you know? by fighting in raids and shit, you got ranked up and there is an actual immersive experience. Hell, even in Japan, you can do that. We have a daimyo system, we have a feudable system, where if you join a daimyo, you can become samurai if you have the influence and you have the skill to do it. They can select samurai, we vote on declarations of wars, we, in game we have speeches and rallies regarding invasions of China, or the Soviet Union, or reinstating Korea. It's all an immersive experience. And it all happens in these games. But let's take a look at TSU. So I joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, right? Well, let me start with this first. Actually, before I joined the Communist Party of the Soviet Union, I actually just went around in-game and said, what is there to do? And I thought, well, I don't want to join the army because the army is just a cesspool full of autism and cancerous cringe. I don't want to join the police because the police is just a smaller version of the cesspool and cringe. And all they do is defend a bank, doing nothing, and then there's a the Communist Party. And I looked around, and I went in-game, and I found they had a rally of about maybe 10 guys. I was in-game. And really, I was in-game, there was about 10 of them. They had a flag, they are running around, and they were saying that they were going to go down to the some building to teach the local populace about beliefs or some shit like that. So I said, you know what? 
these guys seem like they're competent. These guys seem like they're immersive. These guys seem like a fun experience and a fun community to be around. So I talked to the chairman, and the chairman said that, you know, if I am good with political science and I know what I'm doing, then I will become a future administrator within the Communist Party. And I'm like, okay, good shit. Let's get started, right? So I DM this guy. I'm like, let's get started in our epic political career. And I say, how does one join the government slash party? How does one progress? And they say, well, join the group. I'm like, okay, done. I join the group. I do what the guy says. And I'm like, but still, how do I become this great leader? Is, is there a discord where I can meet fellow comrades and start a revolution? Is there trainings I can attend like in any other group? Are there speeches I can write? Are there campaigns I can run for? Hell, are there even applications I can even write and give my experiences to rise up in the communist party of the soviet union how do i become like a general or anything relevant to that because i have the skill for doing it and then they inform me you have to buy political experience in game whatever you spam the e button on this guy right here you have two political power and you can you can actually just purchase it with actual money you just purchase that and you just spend your robux on political power So you're telling me, I don't have to write documents, I don't have to attend trainings, I don't have to rally comrades or anything else. I have to just buy experience with in-game money. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna leave this stream. Okay, I'm kidding, I'm not gonna leave the group because I'm making a review here. So, what is so bad about that? I mean, look at Anglia. I mean, do you guys remember when I did the Richterus party and we ran around and we won the elections and I was the prime minister and it was just this huge immersive environment of role play and I was establishing businesses and I was building shit and starting wars or trying to start wars or you guys remember Capetia, the same thing. Except in Capetia, there's a huge civil war between the anarchists and the Richterists, but still. It was this huge, immersive environment where we were trying to take political power and we were trying to take charge through recruiting people and through an immersive environment. It was all just a matter of immersion. All I did was DM a guy, say I want to create a party. He asked me who the hell I was. I said, I'm A.B. Richter. And he said, holy shit, you're A.B. Richter. Yeah, go ahead. And that's all I did. And I spawned in a good 100 members for him. And I began recruiting people in-game for my political party. Now, I'm not saying I want to create a political party. I'm not saying I want to overthrow the premier. I'm not saying I want to make a rebellion and be a power-hungry little bitch. I'm just saying that you can't do that in this game. Because there is no server for communicating with fellow party members. There are no events like rallies. There are no events like trainings. There's nothing like that. Okay, maybe there are trainings. But I don't see him ever hosted. There is no channels for specifically even the Communist Party in general. There's no way to communicate with other members. There's literally nothing you do. The only way you get anything in game is by either buying it or by running around in game and like role playing. Except the role play in here is you just running around, for instance, like I'm doing here. And you're, you're just like, sir, sir, do you want to hear about, like, communist doctrine? And no one responds, because you're like, who is this retard? Who's phone trying to roleplay? You know? And your, your chat doesn't even load in. And the guy's like, dot, 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 this guy's a retard. And the police were at you, like, this guy must be espionage. And this guy's like, oh, my division's better than yours, dude. Freaking police all the way. And everyone just runs away from you. It's like, no one even gives a shit. You're just there to get a rank, or buy a rank, and that's all you're there for. There is no strategic way. Oh, I just got shot, by the way, by a random retard. <laughs> Speaking of which, every time I play this game as a civilian, I get arcade at the border. It's like I'm trying to get in, and it's like, okay, time to commit the Joker and massacre all 40 civilians in line. And like, the officer just sits there like a lazy asshole and does nothing about it. It's like... <laughs> you would think for a group with this many memories, you'd have like... 60,000 hundred officers. You have nine majors? You have nine majors and 401 captains. 
you have three lieutenant colonels, you have six colonels, you have three major generals, you have two lieutenant generals, and... <laughs> See, this is probably why nothing gets done. And again, I'm not trying to shit on you guys if you're watching this from TSU. I'm just your friendly neighbor called Freedom of Speech, and I'm just trying to express why you guys need to fix shit. Speaking of which, I just got killed in game by another police guy. I don't even know why. I'm not even. I wasn't even. That wasn't even that cringy, okay? It was kind of cringe, but like. Compared to these guys' standards, it wasn't that bad. So I asked this guy actually what the thing was a few hours ago, and the guy just said that it's a point system. And I, there is no Discord server for party members. Everyone shares the main Discord because communism, right? And unless you're a part of a division or a department, it, it's like everyone uses the main Discord. Even though I'm in the main Discord. Or, sorry, I'm also in a division. Otherwise, what we would call a branch, I get the no division rank. Which means I can't see any of the general channels in the main Discord server, because I have a retarded rank. But still, I DM'd a few more people some random questions, and to be honest, I mean, it was the only way I could make any conversation. It was the only way I could figure out an easy way to get anywhere in this game eventually, besides running around in-game like a retard doing nothing. Okay, but seriously, if there is no immersion in-game, at least give us something to do. Like, I don't know, I, I, like I said, if you don't want to have an immersion environment, it's a cash grab. So, if you're a Communist Party member, at least have like a government building where we can vote on laws for in-game shit. Or, I don't know, maybe a Trello for voting on laws. Or maybe if this is not the type of game, I can pick up trash. Never mind. This is broke. This is a broken garbage thing. I'm, I'm spamming E and nothing's happening. Yeah, so I guess there are other ways to make money in this game. It's just they're, they're all freaking broke. So, I mean, with that all being said, what do we do? We just walk around? I mean, besides the training that's hosted once a day, and the three other members, sorry, four that are in-game. Like, there's just nothing to do. Okay, join the military then. There's a much better experience. Yeah, set it up border for a couple of hours. And if you're lucky, promoted the freaking junior conscript. Yeah, no, that's even boring. I don't want to sit at a border all day. Oh, join the police. You can protect a bank in that way. You know, you're more productive because you have people to kill. And I'm like, okay. But then again, do they even have trainings for the police? It's like there's... It's, it's not good enough, in my opinion. Like in Korea, for instance, we had trainings hosted three times a day for the Workers' Party of Korea. They had a stone hatchet division that would cut down people that were disloyal to the state. And it, it had a, there was a goal. The end goal for my Korea was to win the war against the Western powers and to establish an Asian, East Asian continent, a super state of people loyal to the state. In this group... All I see is new skins. I see new sci-fi shit. I see, oh great, you know, a new a new backpack for the sci-fi soldier. I see rules. Okay, cool, nice rules. You have documents. Okay, yeah, we're getting somewhere. But th these don't like. What is this? Oh, what is the chain of command? These guys can order this. These guys are veterans. These guys are newly inducted members. These guys are experienced members. Okay, okay. These guys handle these these issues. Okay, that's all this thing said. Like this group has never declared war on a group in its entire freaking existence. And yeah, I know this is a cash grab group, but I'm gonna argue about why my experience here is shitty. So, okay, yeah, maybe your group isn't focused on war groups and immersion, and maybe making the game a fun experience because you're a cash grab group. Maybe they're not. Twat, plot twist. Maybe it's, it's not a, a freaking cash grab. Last time I checked, though, it was. So, anyway. The issue we have at hand here is the fact that you can't have a fun experience in this game. And for those who do, it's for the edgy communist guys that think communism is cool. And they're, you know, have all these tankies running around. But, you know, it's, it's just... Seriously. 
They put Soviet music in a game. You can wave around a Soviet flag for all you care. And that's the most immersion you can get out of this game. I've seen um, them make an announcement, like, oh, we invaded the United States of America. But there was no in-game immersion. Immersion isn't just a guy making a speech saying, we took over the United States, her, der. That's called autism. Actual immersion is when, like, okay, let's say I'm in-game. Let's say there's a group of army men walking down the street. Why the hell are the guys going down the street? I don't freaking know. But what I did see is they have this guy, they have these two Americans, and they're under arrest. And they're, like, running around saying, we found two Americans. They're spying on us. And they're walking down. And then you see the general. The general's like, good job, you found two. You tried two Americans. And they go out there, and it's only, like, a hour later, the premier comes in game and says, everyone rally up, we got a pertinent announcement to make, and he says the Americans are spying on them, and that they're going to declare a war, and, oh, you know, they're going to nuke us, they're going to they're gonna do this and that. It's like, that's actual immersion. It's not making a paragraph about how we invaded the United States and won it. It's an actual in-game, you know, it's rallies, and during the rallies, you give out your directives, and it's, you know, declaration of wars and raiding people and winning those raids and it's in-game party members talking about how they're going to spread communism to other nations it's called taking the communist party and using it to infect other city democratic groups and making them communist it's all about that i'm not being told to make laws for the state as a party official i'm not being called in to execute traitors of the state there's nothing emerging going on you go in game, you buy political power, you get a high rank, and you boss some kids. Which usually are a bunch of retards that won't follow your orders anyway. All in all, that's the experience I got from this group. And I know it was a really hard truth that I, I had to spout out. I had to bring out the big ego and talk so much shit about this group. But seriously. How do I get anywhere in this group? And here's the even bigger question. Once I become a part of the senior staff, like um, Plata Burrow, for instance, what do I do next? What's my goal? Is my overall objective to educate people on communism? Am I supposed to make laws? Is it to enforce loyalty? Is it to teach the state? Is it What is it? Or... Is it just me, at a high position, not doing jack shit? You know, what does the description say? It's the founding and ruling political party of the Soviet Union. The CPSU is the sole governing party. So I was right. I was right. This is the government. We should be making laws. We should be making rules. We should be deciding on things. What's good, what's bad, what's legal, what's illegal. What is loyal, what's not what's considered treason and what's considered not treason, and we should be executing people for breaking these laws and rules. But that's not happening. And it says you have to be extroverted, you have to be innovative, you have to have discord. But where can I do that? So, let me be honest here. Not only is this a review video, it's more or less a what the hell do I do video. There's no guide. When I joined the Communist Party, or any branch for that matter, I DM'd the high command, what do I do? They just said, go in game, earn political power, and be active. And attend events when they're hosted. But there's no events that were hosted in the 24 hours that I've been in game. There was guys marching around the flag and said that they were going to educate some guys about communism. But then the, the guy with the flag left and they all just dispersed. Like, there's nothing innovative in the game. It's not like I can go into general chat for the Communist Party and plan our next revolution. There is no immersion. I've said this a thousand times because it's the freaking point. There is no fun immersion. It's another cash grab. So, I know a lot of guys from are going to watch this video. They're going to do the same thing the Germanic Grand would have done hadn't I said this. They're going to mass comment and mass dislike. Hell, I don't know what they're going to say. They are going to come here in mass numbers, and they are going to say some things, whether it be good or bad. That's just my opinion, guys. I make groups all the time, and um, 
I'm not here to make you guys look shitty. I'm not here to make you guys look bad. I I wanna I wanna what I wanna get a high rank. I, I just wanna get somewhere in this group. I wanna do something productive. I don't wanna walk around in game. And yeah, I'll be honest. I don't join groups unironically. I didn't join this group unironically. I said at the beginning of this video, I didn't join this group unironically. It was for an experiment. I want to see how far I could get in game before I make a review, because it was for review purposes. I've been hearing so much shit about this group, and I'm like, well, figure it out myself. And this is my experience, right? So, um, that's really all I have to say. So, if you enjoyed the video, you know, go ahead and you know, like it and do whatever I could care less. If you didn't like it, DM me or do whatever. But <sighs> that's just my opinion. I could say a lot more on this group, but it's 1 o'clock a.m., so I don't have anything else more to say on it. And, um, you know, if you are a high rank in this group and you are going to tell me, like, there is something I don't know, like, I went on about how there's no proper events or proper immersion. If there are actual rallies, then show me. I've seen this group for the past year. I've not seen one rally. I've not seen one training. There's nothing in this group. It's so isolated that there's nothing. I don't know if they have events. I've been told they have events, but I've seen no events. So does that mean the high command is the high command inactive? Is the screen command inactive? Is that why everything is dead events wise like what's the what's the issue because i don't understand it so if you are watching this and you're not going to hate me you're just going to tell me what the issue is then yeah dm me or whatever i'm in the discord server and whatnot so i don't know if i'm just going to get banned from everything after this is uploaded or if i'm just going to get confronted good or bad i'm just putting this out here so thanks for watching and, uh, what was it? Glory to the Soviet Union. So, well, I'll put the link to the group in the description. Join if this looks appealing to you. And have a good night. Alright, goodbye.